Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing as Germany on the modern day mod. This is episode 4. We are playing as Angela Merkel. Welcome back to the series, guys. So if you still are enjoying it and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. But check out the might of NATO now. It's just crazy. So we have roughly around about 240 divisions. In today's episode, we're going to be declaring war upon the North Koreans. We're going to be nuking and marching upon Kim Jong-un. We're also currently justifying against uh, Bashar al-Assad. We're going to be invading Syria and a couple of other Middle Eastern countries. It's currently the 28th of June, 2022. 2022. And the war against the Syrians will be on the 16th of October. So, we currently have 120 ready to push against the North Koreans, and then the other 120 ready to push against the Syrians. In the last episode, we managed to invade and take out China. We also nuked them quite, significant, uh, quite significantly. I think it was a couple of episodes ago, Berlin got bombed, which was hilarious. That's why my national unity is at 15%. So, we currently occupy Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. Sweden, Finland, most of modern day German, uh, modern day uh, Russia. We also have taken Belarus, the Ukraine. We've got so much territory here. Poland has some uh, territory here as well. It's a little bit easier to see with the green. Just the might of our territory. We've also got some territory down in Tunisia here we owned, and we also have bits and <laughs> specs in the Baltic states in what was Bosnia what was Montenegro, Serbia, um, yeah, pretty much, because they rebelled against me and joined the CSTO. Wars-wise, at the moment, the Moroccans and the Algerians are still fighting together. I think we're more closely aligned to the Algerians, because the Moroccans de declared war on the West Sahara, and then that brought the Algerians in. We sent one unit to fight with the Algerians, but I guess I could send them to either role if I really wanted to. I wanted to side with the Algerians, because... Okay, I thought the French would have been guaranteeing them, obviously, a former colony for the French. We have some free for civilian factories. We're currently repairing some of the Chinese lands we took, and we're also going to be building uh, some more rubber factories. At the moment, still upgrading our supply battalions, generally, trade rights-wise. Here we are. Uh, production, we're currently still making the HK-417 uh, weapons. They're really quite cool. And then we have the light mechanized, the Gen 3 anti-air. We've got a lot of stuff going on. We have 186 military factories. Here's the logistics. Uh, here is Angela Merkel, our faction leader, of course. Um, but that is pretty much it. Let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand. The plan is to try and make a huge German Reich, try and make a huge Germanic Empire, and then we'll probably say, you know what, Donald Trump? Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you big time, and leave the faction, leave NATO, because we've basically been making them fight our wars and, and essentially help us make a German Reich again. And then we'll probably betray them. But yeah, we could go to war with America. I think fighting NATO would be really fucking difficult. <laughs> fighting all these states, because these armies would basically disappear as well. Like, most of these armies aren't actually made up of German troops. They're made up of French, Polish, there's Estonian, there's pretty much every NATO member you can think of. Italian, French, Polish. We've got Turkish, Belgium, S Republic of Chinese. We've got so bloody many NATO members just fighting in these armies. We've got a huge NATO army, essentially. So, let's declare war on the North Koreans. Let's call our allies and march against them. Germany goes to war. Uh, Germany declares war on the, on the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Okay, I was just sort of curious looking at those other party ideologies. Yeah, they're communists, of course. Come here, bastards. So the war is on. We're going to call all our allies, of course. And let's sort of see how this goes. We'll bomb the absolute shit out of them. I'll quickly pause as everything loads in the new war participants, and then we'll sort through on the other side so it's a little bit easier to see. But if you guys want to get some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you guys can pick up Hearts of Iron for a pretty competitive price. Maybe, but yeah, let me know if you want to see more of this Hearts of Iron series. If not, I could always upload more Total War 
Whatever. Okay, so we should probably push against them now. Let's go with an offensive line all the way to Pyongyang. We do have air superiority over the top. We do have a navy nearby. We have Manfred Nilsson. We'll go with search and destroy in the yellow uh, east China and sea of Japan sea. We'll go on search and destroy. I actually don't know how big the North Korean navy is. I don't reckon it's that big, but, it, you know, you don't know. All right, we probably should bomb Pyongyang, actually. Yep, let's do it. So let's bomb Pyongyang. We've got six nuclear warheads. Let's bomb as many of their key cities as possible. Make North Korea a rubble. Okay, here we go. We're about to drop our warheads. Bombs away, boys. Holy fuck. Oh, no, the, the, the war participants... Um, Participants came up as we're oh my fucking god. We're absolutely just raining fire and death upon North Korea We dropped One two three four five six six nuclear bombs on six key cities and there's a couple of other participants coming Why are we actually losing here? I'm a little bit blown away for that not as much as them, I guess. Alright. The French want to send me 16 divisions, and the Romanians want to send me 6. So who's joined this war? Okay, Malta, Tajikistan, Macedon. Right. We've got German divisions here we can use. 22. I guess we go to Macedon, I guess. March to Macedonia, boys. And it's October before we can go to war with Bashar al-Assad. So what's happening here now? Tunisia could be drawn, drawn into it. Okay. Tunisia is our enemy now. Macedon has... Macedonia has capitulated. capitulated. That was bloody easy. So who are we at war with here now? Tunisia. All the bloody wankers that puppeted all those countries essentially um, have betrayed us, which is 100% obvious. Let's send these divisions here. Let's send this army with Otto, I think. Probably just send them down to the, the Turkish border. Turkish and Syrian border. Right, who hasn't been given an army? No one. Everyone's in an army. We've got free civilian factories. Should, how many? How, we're making a warhead roughly every 12 days by the look at it. We could try and build some more nuclear reactors. There's no harm in doing that because the more the better. The more we can bomb on the country. So let's build a fair few more. I'll quickly, once I've done this, I'll just sort of double check my resources because we need to quickly see. So we're making, we've got, we've got a surplus of 300 chromium. Uh, 900 steel. Tungsten's a bit low, so we could actually go into tungsten. In the modern day mod, you actually can build factories that produce resources, unlike in obviously uh, the vanilla, you have to take countries with certain resources. It's a little bit, yeah, overpowered. I guess you can just build tungsten if you want. That's how we're getting most of our rubber in. Right, how are we doing against the uh, the North Koreans? How many divisions do they have? 9 to 50. Algeria joined the CSTO. What? Are you fucking kidding me? And on that note, Morocco has just joined NATO. I thought... I would have thought if either Morocco or Algeria would have joined, it would have been... Alge it would have been uh, Algeria to join NATO, not Morocco. Since Morocco just started this Western Sahara War. Okay, what the fuck? Um, I guess we should send these 22 divisions, send them to a port somewhere, send them to the port of Genoa, and we'll send these 24 divisions. Do we have a port here of our own? No, we fucking don't, damn it. We'll probably have to send them to the Moroccan NATO territory here and try and finish off the Algerians. Right, how are we going against the um, North Koreans? Right, a couple more stuff's been kicking off again. Lithuania, Denmark, Albania, and Croatia are sending more divisions over. 
That's fine. Uh, get all of them to go to Genoa. That was where the rally point has been set. Okay. How's the war going against these guys? We lost four, five units here. Fuck, it's actually hard fighting here in North Korea. We're actually struggling a bit. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because we bombed so much of the infrastructure. It's so fucking shit to fight through here. We've got f decent supply. Whoa, okay, here we go. Poland has called the Republic of China. Okay, right. Might move this away. The Americans request to extend Ramstan. Ramstan Air Base in Ryland has been operated by the US Air Force since 1951, but the Americans have requested us to, mit to permit them to develop Ramstan far beyond the control and patrol outpost. Okay, there is no re- right. There is no reason we would ra- there is no reason not to. We would rather not. So the opinion of so the Amer so the opinion okay, so the the Americans don't like us. Nah, you guys can fuck right off out of my territory. I'm not giving you an airbase there. Or we get plus five airbase. Adds five airbase. Yeah, no, I'd rather not. Let's just we're in NATO, so they you can't declare war on me anyway. Yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly see that now. Yeah, it's still quite high though. Donald Trump quite loves me attacking the North Koreans. I don't know if I did that, but I can't remember if I did. We've cut these divisions here. We should be able to just run and smash this one here. Okay, Belarus. The Polish want to send me a fair few more divisions. Right. Rally up at Genoa is the place to be. They're pushing into my German territory in Tunisia. That's fine. What are the... Okay, they're at 72% capitulation. Let's try for another push against the, uh, the North Koreans, I think. Alright, now we've got a bit of a... Bit of momentum around us. We're about to surround and kill three divisions there. The Italians want to send me one more. Luxembourg wants to send me three divisions. That's hilarious. Why the fuck are the South Koreans? Why aren't they pushing over the border? Are they not in NATO? Oh, they should be, along with Japan. In the Donald Trump campaign, there is a... When I played as them, they have a technology where you can do so. Yeah, but anyway, guys, this campaign will end in the not-too-distant future. So let me know in the comments what you'd like me to replace with. I think I'm probably going to do a Russian campaign. That'd be really quite cool. Go to war with NATO. So... The North Koreans have capitulated. Does that mean the war's over? Surely it must do. Or is it because Algeria's still in it? It's still on. Because they're actually quite tough. What? Malta? Oh, we have to get rid of Malta before they capitulate? I fucking hate that. Malta's actually kind of hard to take. Because they basically just sit there with a... Fucking, how many divisions does Malta have? Estimated? A minimum of seven. And we don't have proper naval invasion technology just yet. That's a bit of a pain in the, pain in the anus. Alright, everyone's heading over to... Genoa in Italy. And we can push against Bashar al-Assad in October. But we've taken out North Korea. We've taken Pyongyang, which is excellent. Okay, let's get these ships back now. Yeah, I don't think we even had any naval engagements. I want to rally up with these guys. Rally up here. Do I have more ships? We've got 12 more here. All right, send them over to rally up with the huge fleet here. Alright, cool. I'm surprised we knocked out the North Koreans so easily. It's currently the 16th of August, 
Okay, how many guys have we got here now? 22. Where's the majority of them? Oh, they're actually coming out of Turkey now. No, didn't I give the order to meet at Genoa? We can send 17 over here, though. Where's a port? We can send 17 of our just European divisions made up of Croatians, Albanians, Poles, and a couple of Danish units. Alright, what's going on here? We're going to have to go through Navy stuff now. Right down the bottom is here... Is the naval invasion? Oh, okay, you can get nuclear carriers. Huh. I didn't know that. Uh, naval invasion capacity is at the top, not down below. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go with a plus 20 then. And then we'll start going up because we're going to have to invade Malta, which will be a pain in the ass to end the war, but hey, whatever. So be it. Okay, how are our problems here going? Okay, it's not too bad. The, um... Yeah, it's not really pushing. This... What are they called? The trans of of as that empire, whatever they're called. Uh, okay, let's go with that. Have those divisions landed? They have. We've still got a little bit longer before we get some more of those other guys coming. Let's continue to upgrade our anti-air. I'm just trying to think what I should do with those 120 divisions now in China. Because we have the huge chunk here. I do want to go to war with Australia. I think that would be quite funny. We can get there, but we're going to have to do a, na a naval invasion from uh, New Caledonia. However, the Americans are guaranteeing Australia still. We still have to deal with this, though. Yeah, they're not pushing too much. Right, let's get this army here to go straight for their capital. We'll just get them to focus on it. We're still waiting for these other 22 divisions to head across. Is it because of the front line that I've got them on there for? It is. They keep on going back and forth, the fucking dickheads. I was wondering why there was a line there. They should have made their way to, to Genoa so much more quickly. Right, how's this push going against the capital? We have 16 German troops. They're, these are actually German... Oh no, they're not German forces. They're the um, Albanians and such. We should actually have some of our own German forces coming. At some point. Right, let's go with jet engines. We still haven't gotten got that yet. Let's send those frigates and ships to China. We need to merge up where we can. We're sending 12. They're in the Sea of Japan. September, still a little bit before we can go to war with Syria. We are pushing through the mountains of Algeria. Which is taking a while, a little bit of a pain in the ass, but we'll be right. They took out my German territory in Tunisia. We still need to wait for my commander to get here. Man, this sucks. This really does suck fighting through Tunisia. Okay, sorry about that cut there, guys. I got interrupted. Then I ended up having a glass of water. Then <laughs> a glass of water, water, and then uh, I like decided to have lunch. So it's been like an hour <laughs> since that cut. It's the magic of editing. Would have been a second for you guys. It was like an hour for me. Yeah, I got interrupted. Then I was like, you know what? It's about lunchtime. I should probably should make something to eat. <laughs> right, we left exactly where we left off. We were fighting against the Algerians, which is... I still don't believe it. We can try and push for their... Or is that not their capital anymore? Or is it... Oh, okay. I thought their capital was here. 
I swear they had a major city here. Push for this way then. Right, um, nothing's really going on in China anymore. Tajikistan has capitulated. What are these, like, red borders here? Okay, that's fine. Right, how long until we can go to war against Bashar al-Assad? 16th of October. Right, where are my armies again? So we've got divisions pushing to Genoa. But they kept on going back and forth because... They kept on going back and forth because... What was it? Oh, the fucking Brazilian troops here because of the front line. Okay, our justification against Bashar al-Assad has kicked off. Let's declare war. Let's call our allies. Okay, so we have the yellow and these two. Right, okay. So make an offensive line to... Yeah, Damascus, I guess. Push through this way. And make the other offensive line here a little bit closer. Right, let's push for it as quickly as we can. Should I try and bomb the Sy Syrians? It could be quite cool. Let's move my air force over from China. Uh, let's select all. I really want to rebase them all. Where's an airfield nearby? By um, This only can house 800. These guys can house a thousand. Is anyone else that's in NATO nearby? Or is it just the, uh... 200. Or is it just the, uh, Turks? That should be fine. Right, let's rebase essentially all of them. Here. Then we'll chuck you over here. Perfect. I need you guys to go over Syria now. Okay, how many bombs do we have? We've got six. And now more allies have been called in. I'm assuming the Syrian war is going to be merged with the, uh, the Korean and German war. Alright, cool, come on. Man, so many new war participants. I'm pretty sure it should combine, shouldn't it? Yeah. Sirius joined them there. Malta is the faction leader. We're currently getting more... Um... Shit. Here we go, we got it then. We were actually having a pretty decent air fight over the top. What are we sort of looking at? Oh, we, have, we dominate them now. They don't have any enemy anti-air guns over Syria. Oh, well. Well, sorry, Damascus. Goodbye. Yeah, we're currently getting naval invasions a little we're going for the tech to get more troops for our naval invasions so we can get rid of malta but we're about to bomb the fuck out of syria there we go damascus has fallen we've bombed so much of syria these were former former islamic state territories now that now they will be ours we have a lot of um supply lines here so we're pretty fortunate so we have 120 divisions pushing against the Syrians. We'll take Aleppo in a couple of days. Is everyone over here now? Not quite with those 22. Let's move them to Genoa. Oh, fuck. I didn't even realize these guys. Did these guys get surrounded and killed? They didn't, but they could nearly. We're only just holding that pass. Oh, we're making a push to the port here now, though. If we can take that port... Tajikistan has capitulated. If we can take the port, we can send what we can. If we can take Algiers. Yeah, I'm blown away. A former French colony uh, didn't side with us. So how many can we get here? 20. I'm not entirely sure what the max is we can get. We probably should upgrade our submarines or something. Get some really good submarines. We don't really need the... Um, We were, we yeah we don't really need a big navy but it's 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 not bad it's not too bad and handy right Algiers we've taken it let's get everyone here to push over to the port that's going to help us research wise I want to get the advanced engineer company because engineer companies are really really good okay so how are we going over Syria my air force is here Aleppo will fall soon how many 
divisions do the Syrians have? They have a fair few. Okay. Uh, who's who sent volunteers? Indonesia has sent volunteers. So, Indonesia, lo Indonesia looks like they could be my enemy. Along with Brazil and India. I don't know why they're sending divisions to the CSTO. Okay. Pushing down now. How are we doing here? Right. Once this other army gets here, we're going to be able to rally up at the port. Yeah, rally to the port, actually, if you can get there. Get everyone to meet at the port. Were there many more? There's one more unit here that can be sent across. And is that pretty much it? No, there's a couple more units. We have a unit here of mountain troops who send you to the Genoa. We've got 13 more ships. We're sort of rallying up in, in China at the moment. Once everyone gets here, we'll go on search and destroy in... Uh, actually, we can just rally this up for now. Go on search and destroy in... The Eastern Mediterranean, the Central uh, Mediterranean, and I guess this one here. We can't do any more. We'll send this fleet here to do the exact same, just to help. Right, how are we doing against the Syrians? Does that mean we get another tech now that we've gone through that? Slot. Uh, national focus, what can we go through? Okay, I'm just sort of looking what we want to go through. Census reform, birth rate control, encourage population growth, increase the birth rate. I think we actually have a bad birth rate at the moment. Yeah, negative birth rate, minus, yeah, we need to probably encourage that actually. Uh, Western loyalties, we could go with that. Avoid international allegiance. Express loyalty. They could like us a bit more. Freedom ideologies. We're not really trying to change anything, though. That's the thing. Hmm. Should we go into more sort of Air Force stuff here? I think increasing our birth rate is probably a good idea. So let's go with the census reform. We're slowly but surely making our way through Syria. Syria has capitulated. Are you joking? That's blown me away, that has. <laughs> We've absolutely smashed them. It's because we bombed the fuck out of them. Are they Scottish troops here? No, it's glitched. The Turks want to send me seven divisions. That's perfect. Why can't we hit them from here? We can now. Okay, so now we have a foothold,ing here in the Middle East. Let's start justifying against Iraq. I think let's start. No one's justifying them or anything. Let's let's start justifying against Baghdad. Then we'll push into Iran, maybe even Afghanistan and Pakistan, and maybe India, because they have been sending divisions to my enemies. They're sending divisions to Algeria, who we're at war with. Right, we probably should make a front line somewhere and try and push. Probably try and finish this little pocket we've caused here. And who else who... who uh, the guys here who don't have an allegiance. Attached you to that. Right, perfect. Um, we need to finish off Algerian Desert. Brilliant. We'll push from where the sides we can. Let's finish off the Algerians. We've still got to deal with Malta, but that's going to be a pain in the fucking ass to take. We're probably just going to have to bomb the fuck out of it, if I'm being honest. We can try now, actually. Let's move my air base. Um, in... where is it? In the island of Sicily, we can have a fair few planes, but it's over capacity now. Oh, we have air superiority over it. Can we bomb Malta? We can. Sorry, Malta. But we're going to have to drop a bomb on you. <laughs> Imagine dropping a nuclear bomb on Malta. It'd probably, like, sink the island or something. 
Drop another bomb on him. Now if someone invades, we'll probably make a naval invasion ready and then go for it. Did that drop anything at all? Pretty much everyone has capitulated except for... Wait, has, has Algeria capitulated? 99%. They're about to. They have just then. I was going to say. <laughs> so we're still going to deal with Malta. So they've capitulated now. Morocco has expanded a new NATO member. Who would have thought? <laughs> the Moroccans are the new NATO member. Let's move to the port here. And what we're going to do is uh, we pro we're going to start justifying into Iraq and then Iran, probably. Uh, we need to deal with Malta because we need to switch up. We need to get rid of the German-Korean War. Let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand. We've still got a lot of divisions here. What is this? Northern Myanmar. Okay. We've got Vietnam here. We've got Laos or Laos. We've got Thailand. Um, we could, yeah, but I think, I think because the Americans are, are, are guaranteeing the Australians that could cause a war. They don't mind me, but they certainly don't hate me. They could do. American opinion of Germany. 30. German opinion of America. Okay. Yeah, so let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand. Thank you very much for watching episode 4 of the Germany campaign. We're going to continue to make Angela Merkel's dream come true of reforming a German Reich. We have done what Hitler couldn't do. We marched upon Russia in Germany. We marched against Russia uh, in winter. We won. We smashed China as well. And just check out this huge German empire we've got. So thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up Hearts of Iron for a pretty competitive price. My name has been Simpsy. Take care. Goodbye. Some really close cinematic shots here, pushing through the breach. Oh, look at... <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there.